Hello, everybody. Welcome to the course on structural metallurgy. This is the lesson number three. And today we are going to talk about the uh, structural metallurgy on no ferrosus metals. My name is Oscar Jaime Restrepo. By now, I am professor of the School of Mines at Universidad Nacional de Colombia in Medellin City. This is the class number three. And my invitation is to follow this course in order to learn more about the structural metallurgy. Uh, structural metallurgy is a fascinating world, and the idea is to know every day a little more about this world because the, we had to uh, a great dependence of uh, metals in our society, and it's important and very important to know about the uh, metallurgy processing of the metals. Last class, during the lesson number two, we discussed about extractive metallurgy or different processing to obtain iron and steel. And today we are going to uh, present the main topics to obtain the other important metals uh, in, our, in our society. As I said to you, uh, for the, the most important metal is iron because uh, we produce from steel and iron, cast iron near to 2,000 million tons per year in all around the world. Okay, the second metal in importance is aluminum. Aluminum, uh, in this moment, the production of aluminum is near to 60 million tons in all the world. It's the second metal importance, but look the difference. Uh, from steel and cast iron, we produce 2,000 million tons per year. From aluminium, we produce 60,000, 60, 60 million tons per year. This is a great difference, near to uh, 30, 30 times less aluminium than iron. What is important is a very important metal because uh, we produce a lot of, uh, of uh, minerals, a lot of products. Uh, we have a lot of application from aluminum. Aluminum, for instance, uh, car tires, car chassis, uh, aerospace structures, uh, windows, doors, lamps, uh, food containers. Uh, because and the most important thing is because aluminum has a la, low density, it's light metal, it's the father of light metals, and it's important to consider that. This is the main property of the aluminum. It's a light and very soft metal, but at the same time, it's, it's a structural mat mat material. It, it has a very important mechanical properties. It's an excellent conductor of heat and electricity, and it had, uh, and in the surface, it, oxidize quickly and this oxide protects uh, the material from the corruption this is very important um, it, one important property is uh, aluminum is difficult to join by welding it's important. to produce uh, aluminum the, the ore the most important ore is the bauxite bauxite uh, you need obtain you need to work uh, to, to prepare or to obtain four tons of bauxite to produce near to two tons of aluminum, alumina, the oxide, aluminum oxide, and uh, with two tons of aluminum oxide, you produce one ton of metal aluminum. This is important. It's important because the uh, quantity of energy is very high. That's, it, it means that aluminum is an expensive metal because you need to spend a lot of energy to obtain uh, the, the, the material, okay? All this is very important and the, the production is growing in the time. Uh, is, look at this, at the, at the beginning of the 20th century, aluminum was an anecdote because it was obtained for first time at the end of 19th century. But now the production is very high. The production is, is um, 25 years ago in, in the 19th, the production was 20, 25 million tons per year, but now it's near to 60 million tons. It's, the the growth is very high because of the properties, because of it's very, very important material to, to replace uh, another, another metals like steel. Uh, of course, the, the, the low density is, uh, 
it's very important probably okay who produce who produce uh, who countries which countries produce uh, aluminum the countries that have a uh, low cost of energy is a very very important topic okay uh, to obtain to obtain aluminum the the ore as i said is is bauxite bauxite is a uh, aluminum hydroxide and it uh, the bauxite is a rock and as a rock uh, is a, the composition is minerals the main minerals of bauxite is gypsite uh, <clears throat> and bohemite and diaspora diaspora uh, bauxite and gypsite this is the main uh, minerals that compose bauxite and depending on the composition of minerals is the, 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 the uh, metallurgical processing of uh, bauxite. Okay, but the methodology to obtain aluminum for uh, uh, bauxite is uh, you need to obtain first of all uh, alumina, alumina, the, the oxide, and the processing to uh, uh, with you start with bauxite to obtain. Uh, alumina is a uh, Bayer processing. Bayer processing is, is a meta hydrometallurgical processing uh, with a high temperature, a high uh, pressure. Okay, you need to prepare the bauxite with digestion, then make a digestion, uh, hydrometallurgical processing, and then you have to make a dilution and separation of the waste. Red moths is the most important waste and then to prepare or to, to obtain the final product with our calcination processes. It's a, mess, it's a mixture of hydrometallurgy and pyrometallurgy processing, okay? But, uh, okay, it's, it's, the Bayer method is uh, hydrometallurgical processing, but basically you obtain the, the mineral, let me, let me put the, the, the pointer here, sorry, okay. This is the point. The most important thing is to 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 obtain uh, to in order to to prepare the Bayer Bayer method Bayer processing is to uh, hydrometallurgy dilution from the uh, the mineral with uh, sodium sodium solutions. Okay, uh, you could uh, prepare or you could obtain uh, the, the the situation. Uh, for, for first is the dilution and then it's a crystallization processing and when you obtain the alumina with another uh, minerals and other comp uh, compounds you need to do a calcination processing near to 1000 grade centigrade in order to obtain alumina alumina is the final product of the Bayer processing and then uh, okay, to, to prepare the, the, the hydrometallurgical processing, the Bayer process, you need to prepare the bauxites, reduction of sites, uh, prepare the, the minerals, and then the, prepare the, the conditions of the hydrometallurgical processing depending on the content of this site or bohemite. Okay, or if you have a heap site, you need more temperature or more pressure. Okay, then when you obtain the alumina, when you obtain the alumina uh, by the budget processes, you need to prepare the electrometallurgical processing to obtain aluminum, the metal. This is an electrometallurgical processing and the name is whole herald processing. You need to prepare uh, electrolyte, ele uh, prepare electrolysis. The electrolyte is uh, a mixture of fluor fluoride uh, um, with a fluor like a metal and the cathode prepare a cathode and an anode the cathode and an anode are for uh, carbon coal okay and you prepare the electrolysis uh, the name of the electrolyte is creolite creolite is composed by fluor okay and uh, in then in the in this condition you pass a uh, electrical current and uh, obtain the the final aluminum uh, aluminium uh, molten aluminium uh, in the and the, uh, because of differential of potential uh, from cathode and anode okay this is the uh, this is the cathode in this part 
and this is the anode. The anode uh, changed because of the is the use of the processing and, and the current electrical current uh, the, the, the changed the condition of the cathode and anode, and you had to be changing the the composition. Okay, in this processing, how whole herald processing, you need to control not only the composition of the electrolyte, microlyte, uh, also the cathode and the anode, and of course the gases because the gases produce fluor and it's. Uh, with, with, is necessary to control the, the, the current of gases. Okay. Uh, here you have the, the main reactions in the cathode and in the anode. Okay. In order to final, finally obtain the molten aluminium. Okay. This is the anode. The anode is here and the cathode is here and the aluminium is uh, in, the, in the upper of the solution. Okay. And of course, it's necessary to make some conditions on uh, secondary metallurgy in order to obtain the most uh, quality or improve the quality of the final products. Okay, this is the some conditions about copper. I'm sorry about aluminium, a very very important metal in our society. Okay. Uh, I invite you to, to follow the, the main reaction and study the thermodynamic uh, aspects and the uh, cinetic aspects of the industry of aluminium. Okay. Okay. The second metal of importance, uh, no, no, no ferrosous metal. First is aluminium because uh, the production of aluminium is 60 million tons per year. The second metal in importance is copper. Copper is a very traditional metal, uh, very historic metals. Uh, now the production is near to 20 million tons per year in the whole world, three times less than aluminum. Aluminum, uh, we could say that aluminum is a metal from the 20th century, but copper is a metal from the history of the humanity. Uh, when, we, when the man start to use the metals, the first metal was uh, iron, but the second metal was copper, and alloys of our copper. This is very important. And uh, uh, which are the, the most important minerals to obtain copper? The most important mm, mineral is the ore, is calcoparite. Uh, calcoparite is a sulf sulfide of iron or copper. This is the main, the main ore to obtain copper. But it's not the only mineral. You could obtain uh, copper from cuprite, it's a copper oxide, uh, mala white, uh, copper hydroxide, or natty copper. This natty copper is not very common now, now, but it's possible to obtain from malachite or azurite. Azurite is uh, the main uh, minerals that uh, contains copper in it, in the structure, and it's important to obtain. But the most important uh, ore is calcoparite. Okay, uh, which are the which are the, the, the properties or characteristics of the copper that make it, make it uh, important to recover. The most important, the most important property of copper is the he, it is a, a, good, a very good conductor of electricity and heat. Uh, technology during the, during the 20th century uh, was uh, based on copper because of characteristics of conduction. It was a very, very important metal in, in the history of man. It's very ductile and it's very malleable. It's possible to create different uh, weight sizes and shapes of the metal. And it's very important. And another condition is it's easy to solve, easy to, to obtain different uh, joint products of metals. Okay. Which are the main uh, products processing main processing pro to obtain copper? Uh, the main processing uh, to obtain copper is uh, pyrometallurgical processing uh, uh, from calcoparite. Okay, but as uh, all the minerals is necessary to prepare the minerals, prepare by crushing, uh, reduction of size, uh, crushing and uh, grinding, uh, mill in, in, in a process of mill. This is important. Then, then is uh, prepare the concentrates. Mm, the most important process to obtain is uh, a flotation process. Okay, when you have the concentrate, concentrate of calcoparite, 
the next process is a pyrometallurgical process named uh, toast roasting. Roasting. Roasting is the processing to obtain uh, to eliminate the sulfur and to obtain the metals in a oxide form. Okay. Then uh, processing uh, has calcination, reduction, and electrolysis processing. Okay. Uh, I would like to, to present you some uh, um, processing to obtain uh, copper. This is the most important topics. Here you have the minerals, the ore. You go to the crushing and milling with classification. Classification that you go to separate grain uh, um, big uh, sizes and small sizes and go to the mill. After the mill, you go to the flotation to obtain concentrates, and then you go to the uh, roasting processing, okay, in different kinds of, of uh, formats. Uh, the technology to obtain the copper depends on the, on the uh, uh, technology, depending on the, the, the different conditions, like the uh, in, uh, financial topics, the characteristics of the ore, and the characteristics of the or uh, the technology of the countries, okay? Mm, it, now it's very common, the flash furnace to obtain the copper here. Then the, after here, uh, you, you separate the, the sulfur and the sulfur goes to a gases treatment, a plant of gases, and the other is to separate the iron. Iron from the, the calcoporite, remember it's a sulfur, uh, it's a mixture of sulfur, iron and copper. In this in this place, you you separate gases, gases rich in sulfur, uh, iron, and then the copper. After the copper, you go to a concentration uh, treatment of the converter. A converter here, you uh, obtain more more gases, more uh, separation of sulfur, and eliminate the uh, iron and other metals present. You obtain the oxide, and then after the converted, you eliminate the oxide and goes to a blister, blister copper. And then in the blister copper, you prepare the electrolysis, the condition of the electrolysis here, and then separate the cathodes and anodes. In the cathode, you obtain the final copper, and in the other anode, you obtain the um, wasted. The wasted, but this wasted is very rich in gold and silver. It's very important to, to consider that. The cathode of copper is very pure. The, the condition is four nines. 99-99% of copper is the, the most important condition to obtain the product. Okay? It's, it's important to consider that uh, you also have the possibility to, to have another another treatment and other processing different than uh, the mineral uh, pyrometallurgic and electrometallurgic uh, process that we said. Uh, after you prepare the ore, obtain the pyrometallurgical process after flotation. In some cases, you obtain molybdenite, but you prepare the roasting and melting and then prepare the electrolyte precipitation, uh, electrolytical processing to obtain four nines of copper um, product. But exists another line, another processing that is hydrometallurgical processing. It's not the most common product, but it's important to consider that. Okay? To consider is the oxidation, prepare the leaching. Uh, here, uh, the leaching and electro electrolyte precipitation, melting, and then obtain the copper. Yes, this is the condition. It depends on the situation, it depends on the state of the, of the, of the situation. Uh, of dependence of the mineral. Look at here, you have a lot of different kind of, of minerals to obtain copper. Okay, and in the, in the, in the hydrometallurgical processing, you make a leaching, it depends on the state, if you have no uh, sulfur, sulfite product, uh, you have an oxide product, it's possible to use the leaching processing, the hydrometallurgical processing to obtain the final copper, okay? Okay. Uh, depends on the typical minerals. And then uh, uh, you, the most important thing is you need to prepare uh, independent. If you have pyrometallurgical processing, hydrometallurgical processing, the most important thing is to prepare uh, four nines, 99, 99% of purity. It's the most important thing because if you have uh, copper 
with uh, less purity, maybe you can use as a very uh, use copper as a uh, conductor. This is the most important thing. Okay, the third element, metallic element, the, me the third metal we are studying today is zinc. Zinc uh, is obtained fun fundamentally from sphalerite. Sphalerite, sphalerite is a very important sulf sulfur sulfite zinc of zinc. And uh, of course, it's possible to obtain also uh, zinc from calamite, calamine. And it's not very common, but the most common is phalarite. Which are the most important characteristics of zinc? It's, uh, it's not very heavy metal, it's middle, but it's in the in condition, mechanical condition are not the best, but it's important. But uh, it's, it's important because it protects the material from the corrosion. It's, it's very important. And it's, it's, it's easy to work with zinc with different can, ca characteristics, like uh, the metal produce uh, oxide of zinc is very very important. The production of zinc zinc today is near to uh, 12 million tons per year in whole the world. Okay, look, copper 20 million, uh, aluminium 60 million tons, and copper 12 million tons. It's important to this production. Uh, similar to the metal extractive metallurgy of uh, copper, you need to prepare the minerals, obtain the the, the product after uh, obtain uh, the concentrate, maybe by flotation processing, and then pyrometallurgical processing. Pyrometallurgical processing by roasting, uh, obtain intermediate processing products from cadmium or maybe uh, mercury, and then. Uh, Re realize the purification processing and finally obtain the, the product very prepared for electrolysis, electrolysis electrolytical processing electrometallurgical processing okay as for of course it's possible to produce or to have also a condition of uh, minerals with uh, hydrometallurgical processing also okay it's, it's very use, useful, not only as a metal, also as uh, uh, oxides. Zinc oxide is very important, very common to produce solar protectors. Uh, and uh, Zinc is important to produce galvanized products, galvanized to, pro to protect the iron from the corrosion. In the cars are very common. Car cars, oh, a lot, great part of cars, in the the external part of the cards are protected by zinc with a uh, galvanized, steel galvanized. Okay, the next metal in importance is lead. The production of lead in this moment is near to uh, 10 million tons per year in all the world. 12 million of zinc, 20 million of copper, and 60 million of aluminum. Remember, and uh, Copper uh, lead is very important. The, the most important, the most important uh, ore for, for, to obtain lead is uh, galena. Galena is the lead sulfide that uh, contains more than 86% of lead if it's poor. The idea is to obtain material poor, a concentrate for lead. That's why it's important the extractive metallurgy to, to, to obtain that kind of lead. Uh, which are the most important characteristics of lead? It's uh, heavy, heavy metal because the density is more than 10 grams per cubic centimeter, but it's soft. At the same time, it's not hard. You can you can use scratch with a nail it's because the hardness is uh, near to two. It's not very important in mechanical properties like uh, tenac tenacity or ductile and malleable material. It's not very resistant to uh, mechanical properties, but it resists the corrosion very well. This is a very important topic, the corrosion. The, the layer resists the corrosion very well. Uh, the conduction of electric electrical conductivity are not very high and the thermal conductivity are medium, not very high. Okay. And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's easy to, to, mold, to melt. It's melt, uh, lead is very easy, but it's difficult to obtain gas of, of, of lead. It's important to say that. Okay? Okay. 
Uh, about uh, the, the, the metallurgy is very similar to zinc. The metallurgy of, of lead is very similar to zinc uh, because you have to have to the preparation processing, uh, crushing and uh, mill and to prepare the ganga material to obtain, separate the ganga, and then uh, make the pyrometallurgical processing, roasting and then fusion, obtain in a blast furnace, and finally to prepare an electrolytical solution, electrolytical condition of the materials. Uh, why, why lead? Uh, lead. Lead is important because it's a very, very useful metal to protect. Uh, protect of uh, in radiology, x rays. It is important to produce pipes, conduction of liquids and gases, and uh, dots. Uh, so, uh, a lot of, of a lot of paints is uh, prepared with, uh, with uh, lead. It's important to have uh, the condition of lead. Okay. Uh, in the in the army, uh, it's uh, very useful because. Uh, Armamentistic uh, in, 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 in industry use lead as a raw material, and it's a very very important uh, topic in in the, in the society. Okay, no. it's not the best, but it's a reality. Okay, and the last uh, metal that in, which is produced more than one million tons per year in whole the world is nickel. The production of nickel now is near to two millions, two million tons per year in the whole the world. Remember, nickel two millions, uh, lead ten millions, uh, zinc um, uh, twelve, uh, zinc twelve millions, uh, copper uh, twenty millions, aluminium uh, sixty millions, and iron to produce a steel and cast iron near to 2,000 million tons per year in the world. It's a very, very important metal in, in, in production, okay? Uh, okay, nickel is, uh, is, is produced, uh, the, the, the ore of nickel is, uh, or nickelite, nickelites, or garnierite. And, but in a lot of places, is, uh, the, material, the material is laterites. Uh, garnierite is uh, sulfide of nickel, and laterites are oxides, hydroxides of nickel, and it's a very degradate material to obtain. Um, which is the topic? Which is the most important topics about uh, nickel? Nickel is a raw material to obtain stainless steel uh, because it's very uh, uh, active to avoid the, the corrosion of metals. Uh, when the nickel enters to the uh, structure of steel, protects the steel and is, uh, is the way to produce stainless steel. Okay? Uh, nickel is very resistant, resistant to atmospheric agents for air and uh, humidity and moisture and to uh, some chemical acids. Okay? It's easy to, do, easy to, to operate with it, with it, it's malleable and ductile. And it's not easy to, to well, okay? Uh, the, the process of nickel depends, of course, depends of the origin, depends of the ore, but uh, similar uh, to when you have the sulfide nickel, garnierite, for instance, the processing is uh, roasting, then production, and electrolysis, electrolytical production. Mm, uh, Okay, here you have some different uh, ores or minerals that produce nickel. Uh, it's, it's very important to, uh, to study the laterite or laterite uh, mineral, minerals, uh, like uh, lemonite and saprolite. Uh, it depends. If, if you have lemonite, uh, the, the processing is aerometallurgy, and if you have uh, saprolite, they obtain the, the, the main process is pyrometallurgy. And in, 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 it depends on the characteristics of the ore, depends on the characteristics of the deposit, okay? <clears throat> and it's very common in all the world to have the, the two, product, two processing, processing of uh, pyrometallurgy or hydrometallurgy, okay? 
Okay, uh, in, in, the, in the topic, uh, the hydrometallurgical process is, is typical to leaching uh, <clears throat> uh, processes, but you have to, you, you, you could use the variable or the, the heat leaching as, a, as an activity, but in the pyrometallurgical processing, the most the more common now in the world is the air key F F E F processing. It means uh, rotary kill electric furnace. It's a mixture of two furnaces, the rotary kill to make the uh, reduction, um, first reduction of metals, and the electrical furnace in order to make the molten production. That's a very, very common metal uh, way of uh, or, or, uh, technology to obtain nickel uh, nowadays. Okay, uh, in different, is, this is the topic. You uh, prepare the materials and then make a calcination here, a calcination and a pearl reduction. And then you, you use the R electrical, electrical formants and you complete the reduction processing and then you mold, uh, obtain the molten, molten metal. It's very common to, pro it's very common to produce ferro-nickel. Ferro-nickel ferro -nickel is a um, raw material to, to obtain uh, stainless steel, okay? Okay, uh, this is the um, general conditions, general considerations to these six metals. But at the same time, exists uh, another metals like uh, magnesium. The production of magnesium is near to 500 million, uh, 500,000 um, tons per year, uh, similar to tin. The production of tin is similar. The production of magne magne ma magnesium is uh, because of uh, the low density. Uh, and the production of tin is, uh, is because it's a very, very important in production of uh, protection for steel. And the other metal in importance is uh, titanium. The production of titanium is near 300,000 tons per year. And the other metals that are used in the iron industry, like vanadium, like tungsten, or wolfram, uh, manganese, and all metals like uh, uh, niobium, uh, uranium, uh, are important. And the other metals are the uh, precious metal like gold, silver, and platinum. Platinum is obtained not only uh, individual, uh, platinum is obtained in a group of metals. And, and they are very important. In this course, we are going to discuss the stratometrology for gold, mainly, and gold and silver. Okay, uh, this is the final part of the class, uh, number three, the lesson number three. We have now the, the conditions for to use the operations, the main operations in stratometrology. We, we could work with uh, uh, hydrometallurgical processing and pyrometallurgical processing. And now in the lesson number four and number five, we are going to discuss about thermodynamical support and synthetical support to prepare the activities or the main activities in, in metallurgy. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. And I hope you enjoy the classes and uh, had the possibility to study this uh, fascinating work the world of uh, stratometrology. Thank you very much, and I wait for you in the next lesson. Bye-bye, good day.